हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट प्राइमरी यूजर्स इन इंट्यून एंड हाउ वी कैन चेंज और अपडेट द प्राइमरी यूजर फॉर द इंट्यून डिवाइसेस लेट्स फर्स्ट सी व्हाट इज प्राइमरी यूजर बिफोर वी कैन मूव ऑन एंड सी हाउ टू चेंज द प्राइमरी यूजर so primary user also known as user device affinity is a property of each intune device and intune device can have zero or one primary user assigned to it when there is no primary user assigned the device is referred to as a shared device intune automatically adds primary user to devices during or soon after enrollment the enrollment method determines when the primary user is added to the device when we are changing the primary user intune device primary user property will be updated as well as the azure ready device object which includes device registered owner and the device registered user we can change the primary user in below scenarios in first scenario we can change the primary user from user 1 to user 2 in second scenario we can change the primary user from a single user to none which we referred as a shared device and in third scenario we can change the primary user from none or a shared device to a single user so there are certain prerequisites to change the primary user in intune the very first one is we need administrator privilege like we need manage devices and set primary user permission second one is device can be either android joined or hybrid android joined third one is a user must have an intune license to be assigned as a primary user fourth one is user account must be enabled so to change the primary user we have two options the very first one is manual way using intune portal and second one is the automated way through powershell and graph api so before we begin if you are new to my channel or yet not subscribe my channel please consider subscribing my channel and turn on the notification so that you won't miss any of my videos now let's see how we can change the intune primary user using powershell and graph api so to do this we have to first download the powershell script and the csv file in which we have to update the information so i have already downloaded it and i have downloaded it in my download folder we can see that i have a powershell script and i have a input file so first step we have to update the input file with the required information so let me open the input file so in this input file.csv we have to provide the device name and the current device id intune device id and the current primary user name if the user is blank or null then you just leave it as it is and then current user id then we have to provide the new user email id which we want to set for that user as a primary device and that corresponding object id now i have updated the input.csv file and i want to change the primary user name of all the devices present in my intune portal as you can see that i have updated all the device name with their device id and this is the current user principal name and their user object id and i want to change all these device primary user from chandra pande to new user called t1 at the rate cmp intune lab1 on microsoft.com and this is the new user object id in my case i am using t1 user to change the primary user from old to new but in your case you have to update the input file.csv as per your requirement with new user name and new user object id and we can also see in the intune portal that all the devices user name is showing as a chandra pande and when we are running the script it automatically changing the primary user name now the input file.csv is updated now second step is to run the powershell script to do this i am going to open powershell.isc as an administrator
and in the powershell script we have to first update the user input section the very first input we have to provide the path where you want to create the log and the second is the path file where you have the input.csv file so i am okay with that c temp input reporting and then change primary user folder to be created if it is not already present on the device and then i have to update the file path where we have saved the input file.csv so my input file.csv is present in the download folder so i am going to click on it and then copy as path i am going to update the file path and now we are ready to run this script so before running this script we have to make sure that we have microsoft graph intune module already installed so for that i am going to manually install this graph module and then i will run this script so for that i am going to open the powershell as an administrator and i am going to run the install module module name microsoft.graph.intune yes And now we can see that the Microsoft Graph Engine module installed successfully. And now we can run this script to change the primary user name. So I am going to select the entire script and I am going to run it. Now it automatically created a folder in tune reporting and then within that the change primary user now we have to provide the account which have a permission to change the primary user name so i am going to use my intune admin account and the password and now we can see that the script executed successfully and it changed the primary user from old to new we can see that in my csv file i have nine device and all devices are successfully updated their primary user and we can also see the log in the temp folder under temp we have a intune reporting folder and then we have a change primary user folder and then in that we can see that log also we can see the same thing all the informations are there in this log for a future reference now let's quickly check in the intune portal if the primary user is updated or not so to do this we have to go to the intune portal and within that we have to go to the windows devices and we can see that the all device primary user is now changed from chandra pandey to t1 at the red cmp intune lab and we can verify by checking any device let me open the device name mike and under property we can see that the primary user name is changed from chandra pandey to t1 that's all I want to show you in this video and I will see you soon in my next Intune Automation video. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.